we've been talking about songwriting, and I guess I want to go to Blackwater. You, as a songwriter, are responsible for one of the most iconic songs to come out of the 1970s in Blackwater. If you would tell me a little bit about the song, the story behind it. When I wrote Blackwater, um, it, it didn't come together all at once. Uh, it, it was sort of an interesting process. I had written this riff, you know, doo -doo 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 -doo, and um, I knew that it was kind of catchy, and, and I carried that around with me for a long time. And I, every once in a while, I just play it, and I, it didn't go anywhere. It just it was that riff, and I thought, I've got to. There's something about this. That, if it is cool and maybe I'll come up with something one of these days and we were in the studio and um, between takes I think we we're working on the Captain and Me album and between takes of uh, some other song I was out there getting ready to do a, some over, an overdub with my acoustic guitar and I started playing that riff and uh, the producer Ted Templeman you know, presses the talk back and he goes what is that and I go just something I've been playing, just a riff that I have. He goes, I like that. You should write a song using that. And I go, well, I'd like to. <laughs> Maybe I will. You know, I'll try. So I continue to just have that with me. You know, every once in a while I pull it out and start playing and trying to think where where could this go? You know. And uh, at one point, not that long after all that, we were down in uh, the South playing a bunch of shows all through. Uh, the Deep South, and we ended up in New Orleans, and we had some time off there. We stayed in the city, and we kind of went out from New Orleans to play different clubs and, and venues around the area. And um, I had that, that riff with me, and um, images started coming to me. You know? I mean, they were there in, in front of me. I shouldn't say where they were coming to me. They were everywhere. And I knew that that riff kind of felt like, you know, folk blues and, and that kind of thing. So um, I started, you know, scribbling ideas down and uh, somewhere I wrote down Old, old Black Water, you know, it's Miss, the Mississippi River, Old Miss. And I had all these, you know, references to the river that I probably pulled from literature and uh, different places. And uh, I wrote that down, and, and then as I, you know, was going around the city, I was listening to Dixieland and in the quarter, the French quarter, and I love, you know, the music in, in the South is so great, and, and especially in New Orleans. So I was taking note of that, and uh, specifically, I would, one day I was out uh, doing my laundry, and I got on the streetcar that goes up uh, St. Charles Street in New Orleans, goes uptown which uh, goes up into to the uh, Garden District up there. And, and there's, I had asked them at the hotel we were staying at, I said, Where's, is there a laundromat? And they go, yeah, well, you got to go take, the, if you get on the streetcar and you go uptown, it's the laundromat. So I'm on the streetcar, and, and uh, the sun is shining. It's hot, you know, down in New Orleans. All of a sudden, it starts raining, and the sun is still shining. It's one of those things that happens a lot in the, in everywhere, but particularly in New Orleans. So I'm on the streetcar and I'm thinking, why not, you know, taking the streetcar going uptown and it's raining and, and I don't care, this is great, <laughs> I'm on the streetcar. And yeah. So um, I did my laundry, got back and I started writing more lyrics, you know, uh, you know taking the streetcar going uptown, uh, it's raining and it don't matter to me and uh, just those kind of things and so I had this whole list of you know things and that's kind of how I write anyway I'll, I'll either write you know think of them in my head and try to hold them there or more often than not I'll make notes and I'll have a bunch of phrases and stuff and then I'm going to put a song together and that's kind of how the song came together and so really the song is about my experiences in New Orleans and the south on the Mississippi River listening to Dixieland music um, Situational. Yeah, exactly. It's so a tribute. As a tribute to New Orleans. The song was responsible for driving that album to platinum, and it was the Doobie Brothers' first number one song. How does that feel as a songwriter to have that accomplishment under your belt at such a young age? <laughs> 
totally unexpected. Um, you know, I, I always felt like, uh, you know, Tommy was the real songwriter in the band. I, I had a few songs on the records, but you know, I see myself as a, a, a hit songwriter. And uh, suddenly I uh, had this hit record, and it was very satisfying. I mean, I, I always thought I, I was writing okay songs, you know, but you, you don't know until the public really tells you that something's worthwhile. And uh, so that was really my first first real hit. And, and the public told you. Yep. Well, Pat, I want to thank you so much for sitting down with me and telling me the story behind that song and uh, some of the other background and, and information. It's just been phenomenal. I appreciate your time, and I wish you much luck uh, and whatever's coming next for the Dewey Brothers. That's very nice. Thank you so much. Thank you. you. Mississippi, she's calling my name Catfish, you're jumping That paddle wheel bumping Black water, keep rolling All fast, just the same Oh, black water, keep on rolling Mississippi moon, won't you keep on shining on Oh, black water, keep on rolling Mississippi moon